Hello there, and uh, welcome to Ys, the Ark of Napishtim, or however you pronounce it, I'm not really sure. But uh, as you may have noticed, there hasn't been anything uploaded on my channel for quite some time, which is mostly because of some personal issues, so I won't go into details, mostly because going into details would make people more annoying than uh, not going into details, so I'll just keep the details away. But one of the issues has been that I basically haven't been able to upload. I've been able to record, but I haven't had access to a network that allows me to upload. And that's kind of bad. So I have a lot of stuff flying around that I have not been able to upload. Probably a few hundred videos at least. So I'll have to try and get that up at uh, some point in the near future. I guess. Maybe. But uh, let's uh, get on with this game then, I guess. It's uh, right past the summer vacation here. I uh, was on my way back down here to uh, my apartment because I had been forced to be in my mother's house for the summer. And uh, finally I got my brother to drive me down with my luggage and stuff. And while on my way here, I got an email from Humble Bundle with some uh, anime sale they had. So every uh, anime-ish title was uh, on sale. And there I saw East, the Ark of Napishtem. And I have been trying to get this to work on a PlayStation 2, because it wasn't on PC last time I tried. Apparently this came out in April, so four months ago. For the PC, but I've been trying on a PlayStation 2 and couldn't get it to work. Uh, it may just be because my uh, capture card doesn't really have any option to plug in uh, normal uh, RCA cables. Or composite, you can only plug in component in HDMI, which kind of led to that not working. So I had ordered the game for PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 2 from eBay, but I couldn't get it working. But finally I can play it. That's gonna be good. Also, it's incredibly hot there. Why does the summer have to be so hot? At least I've ordered a fan that should be arriving soon, even though it's not been sent yet, even though it's been at least two or three working days since I ordered it. Lots of bad stuff happening. I was told I would have to wait six to ten days for it. Figured I would have to wait less since I live pretty close to uh, one of the storages, but no, no, no. No, no, no. Apparently, they're, they're just gonna wait with sending it, so that it takes at least six days, it seems. That seems to be the case, at least. Yeah, but let's get on with the game. With the uh, Adol landing in a new land here. Apparently, this is the first 3D version of the E-series. So I guess uh, the Oath in Filhana and Origins came later than this, originally. I hope more of the games comes to PC soon, so I can play those as well. Okay, should I play it on normal, hard, or nightmare? And what is this catastrophe thing? Is that some kind of hardcore thing or something? No idea, but I'll just take it on normal. I have no idea what the difference between the modes are. But I'm gonna go with standard. There was a new game mode, especially for this PC release, according to the store page, so I'm guessing that possibly catastrophe. I cannot speak. The Ark of Napishtim. Oh, that's some glitchy water texture. Some nice and glitchy texture. Or maybe it's just a rock. I'm not sure. A bit strange with a rock right there, right after the beach.
Olha. What is it, Isha? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought I felt the wind stirring, that's all. The wind? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's really nothing, don't worry. Okay, at least uh, the airs are up again. I guess the airs are going to tell the mood, like with the cat and dog and such. And the rat. Uh, by the way, talking about rats. Uh, I found spirit deceased in their cage during the summer. So only Houdini remains, and that's not all the fun. First time I've felt sad in a few years. No fun. Uh, let's continue. Could I listen to you play some more? I love the sound of your flute. I, I enjoy playing Ocarina more though, but whatever. <laughs> I'd be happy to oblige. And something? What on earth? <laughs> and there's just other lying on the sand. He's an Eurasian! Oh! But how did he wash up here? That's a first for an Eurasian! Is he dead? No, he's still breathing at least. But if we don't do something for him soon... Isha, can you watch over him for me? I'll go back to the village and call the others. Uh, okay. And so she ran away. Lovely. Oh, she has a tail! <laughs> I didn't notice before now. Hmm, dots. He's got no tail. Yeah, I just noticed you have a tail. <laughs> and his ears are so small too. But his hair is so red, almost like fire. Even redder than a ginger. So he may not have a soul. Oh, some kind of pulsating stuff. What? Was that? I thought I'd finally stopped seeing them. Why? Why does looking at him make me? Dots. I. I can't stop shaking. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. <laughs> Falcon presents. Oh, intro. Nice. Okay, so that was the intro. From the looks of it, I'm going to have to visit the temple and defeat its flesh-covered horrors, which is definitely not the reference to uh, a certain manga title. To think the day would come when an Eurasian would wash up on our shores. And a warrior, no less, judging by the steel sword he has with him. Not, about, not with the armor or anything, just the steel sword. What could have possessed you to bring him here? 
Forgive me, uncle. If I'd done nothing, this young man would have been with us no longer. He would have met his demise. He would have perished. I thought this would be the best place to treat his injuries. You know full well that Vildra's distrust of Eurasians these days is greater than it ever was. But no one's been washed up on the shores before. What? You are our priestess. Such careless conduct on your part will only make the situation worse. But I... <gasps> oh, that is a lion man. <laughs> Humph, Chief Ord. And he awoke. Oh, thank Alma, you're finally awake. Do you understand their language? I will gently notice his head. <gasps> that simplifies matters then. I'm Ord, chief of the Reda. What is your name, red-headed Erysian? Otter introduced himself and thanked Ord for helping him. You Erysians truly do have the strangest names. What? Uh, your name is the Norwegian word for word. And if anything, you should save your thanks for this young lady. She was the one who found you washed ashore and tended to your injuries. My name is Olha, which I hadn't realized from uh, the little name tag. I've given you some basic first aid, but your wounds haven't yet closed completely. I'll need to, you to take it easy and get some much needed rest for my sake. Please? I'll have no such thing! He may be a powerless Eurasian, but he is young and he will recover quickly. As soon as you are able, I must ask that you leave here at once. Uncle, if you could just reconsider! Do not forget your position, Olha! You are the priestess and the child of Alma. You will conduct yourself as such. Oh, these religious fanatics. Oof. Please don't mind him. He's really not so cold as you would have you believe. Though I'm sorry to say that, when it comes to... Uh, Eurasians, he's never been the most patient to men. Lately, especially so. Anyway, rest as long as you need. And she left. So where's my armor and stuff then? Darkness. Is that the other one or is it the Olha one? Yeah, that's the little one. Oh. Um... Hi. The girl pointed to Adol's equipment. Oh, there it is. Fancy. She brought it. <laughs> okay, I can't use any kind of a sword in here, it seems. Unless uh, the game has the bump mechanics. I'm not sure if this is before or after they disappeared. Oh, you're awake! Suddenly she's there. Like you'd expect from uh, some kind of Zelda game or something. Suddenly someone's there. It's nice to see you up and about. By the way, there's a lot more color in your cheeks compared to before. You've been asleep for three whole days, you know! <laughs> Although your wounds healed quickly enough, you still weren't coming along as much as I would have liked. I was starting to worry, but I feel m much better now. It's clear that you've made a full recovery. Oh, where are my manners? If I may, let me introduce myself again. I'm the priestess of the Reda tribe. Hola! Um, I believe you said your name was Adol. Would you mind telling me how you washed up on this island? Adol explained that while riding a pirate ship, he had fallen overboard when they were attacked by the Roman fleet near the Great Vortex. Aha! That's how it happened. Pirate! Roman! I'm afraid the details are a bit lost on me, but your story appears to match that of the other Eurasians here. Wasn't he the first? What? You must have plenty of questions yourself. If I can, I'd be happy to answer them. So what would you like to know? <laughs> About Heirs and Tail. Aha, those. It must be an unusual sight for you. 
everyone who comes from the outside. We call them the Rizians. It's surprised when they first see them. With such short ears and no tail to speak of, however, I must confess that to us, you're the unusual ones. Well, we have tail bones, you know. Just not tails. Some people mutate with tails. Just like uh, birds can mutate and get teeth. Because they have the body made for it. <laughs> I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. But our thinking is not so different, yours and mine. And, well, I'll just stop talking. <laughs> not really all too interested. I have to attend my duties as a priestess, so I'll be here for a while longer. Ador, please don't hesitate to ask if there's anything else you'd like to know. Okay then. Can I rub anything in here? Hmm. Can't jump in the bed. Too bad. Oh, I'll just be going out then. Hello! Humph, you're up, I see. I'm Silva, a red and warrior. I might have been the one who carried you here, but only because all I asked me to. Make no mistake, I sure as hell wouldn't have helped in the region otherwise. Okay then, slightly racist. 